Okay, so yesterday I received an absolutely humongous package of dolls from my Australian doll friends, Timothy's Toy Therapy and Doll Jump. They sent me some absolutely amazing dolls that I just have to share on the channel, but they sent me a lot of stuff. So I have decided to split this video into two different parts. The first video that this one's going to be is going to be looking at everything that Timothy sent me. And the second video is going to be the second half of the box that's going to look at everything that Doll Junk sent me. And Doll Junk is just trying to purge a lot of his excess dolls. And he's been collecting a hell of a lot longer than any of us have. So he had a lot of custom dolls that I was more than happy to take. But before I look at all the amazing dolls that Timothy sent me, we have a new member of the Barbie GBF channel. I have secretly wanted June to adopt a pet on the channel for a long time now. And I have been doing a lot of research looking at all of the Barbie pets that have released through the decades. I'm not super keen on the more stylized pets that Mattel puts out nowadays. I just feel like they don't really fit in Barbie's universe. But I did really love the miniature puppy dogs that Mattel put out along with the Birthstone Beauties Barbies. I think they released them in the uh, late 2000s. All, all that collection, you know, the ones that have the Steffi head sculpt. And this dog in particular, I really, really wanted it because I mean, they just have so much personality, don't they? And this, of course, is a lot better to scale with Barbie, I think. I really love this miniature pug dog puppy. I just can't get over his silly expression. And his color scheme matches really well with the rest of the background. This one came with, I think it was the Opal Edition, Burstone Beauties Barbie, and my friend Pippi's Dream House on Instagram was actually really interested in the doll itself and they were so so kind to send me the dog along with a bunch of other gifts that they had they they even made me like a custom made chain belt for june like they they were they were so so generous and i can't thank them enough i really love these sculpting on this dog i mean look look at the little curly tail so precious i wish i knew what the like if the dog had like a sculpt name because I'm not really sure what I'm going to call them. And I'm not sure whether I want it to be a male or a female. But I think in the meantime, uh, until I, I decide on a like a more concrete name, I think I'm just going to call them Perito or Perita, depending on w whether I want them to be a male or a female. Mostly because I really love the new Puss in Boots movie, and, and that's what the... Uh, that's what the dog's name is on there. But thank you, thank you so much, Pippi's Dream House, for sending me June's new puppy pal. So the first doll that Timothy sent me was the currently European exclusive Dreamtopia Prince Ken doll. This guy is so impossible to find in the United States, and he found him. Uh, I forget which toy store he found them at, but this guy is nowhere to be seen in America. So this guy is a new Playline Prince Ken doll from the Dreamtopia line, and he was designed by Angel Kent, the same person who did last year's Holiday Barbies. Barbie collectors have been very anxious to get their hands on this guy because of his adorable new head sculpt. Uh, and Angel Kent actually gave us the name for this head sculpt, so his head sculpt name is Romeo, which is fitting because he is so adorable. But first, I'm going to talk about his outfit a little bit. So he comes wearing this gray silver crown that is sort of pinned to his head. Unfortunately, it's you can see there's a little hole and dention in his head, but you, you can boil the head in hot water and it'll it'll make the hole not as visible. So that's not as much of an issue for me. Um, and also he comes wearing this like satin material. It's actually really nice feeling like a satin material uh, shirt sort of looks like uh, something you would have seen in, in the Shrek movie with a silver belt. Unfortunately, the silver belt doesn't continue around. These shirt Velcros in the back and he also comes with fabric tights. Like this is a really nice quality Playline Ken doll if I do say so myself. 
And the shoes are also a really, really nice sculpt. Uh, because of how cheap he is, I don't expect any sort of painted detail, but the sculpting on these shoes is really, really nice. But most of the fuss for why people are so obsessed with this guy comes down to his adorable new head sculpt. I'm so happy that Timothy was able to find me one with a really nice facial screening as well. It's not really all that wonky and it's not pixelated at all so that's a plus he's honestly he's honestly got a very contemporary hairstyle and you know whenever i first saw stock images of this guy i i could swear that he was the same sculpt as uh, this barbie fashionista but they're not they're two completely different head sculpts you can see this guy's lips are fuller and his mouth is wider than the uh, Barbie Fashionista and their nose shape is completely different. Like if you look at them from the side, his nose, this guy has like sort of a little bump on it. And this one sort of swoops out. So they're com two completely different head sculpts. And I hope that this guy gets used in the Barbie Fashionista's line as well, eventually. He's also a close match for Barbie Looks Sean, in case you want to give him a made to move body. I wish that Mattel would put out a made to move Slim Ken, because this would be the perfect candidate for it. He just, he, he looks like a twink to me, honestly. Or, or like one of those actors you see on Mormon Boys. And now that I have him here with me, he kind of looks like a male version of the Odile head sculpt, doesn't he? I mean, they kind of have a similar nose shape. They they both have that sort of like a deep nose bridge that you mostly see on vintage Barbie head sculpts, but they both have that in the same exact ear shape and a similar mouth shape. But to me, Romeo could be like a male version of the Odile head sculpt. But anyways, thank you so, so much, Timothy, for gifting me this elusive new male Barbie doll. Now, the next two dolls require a little bit of explanation. See, most of my uh, modern Barbie grail list consists of mainly Barbie signature dolls. And... In the United States, we really don't have any particular retailer that carries uh, Barbie signature dolls in store anymore. Toys R Us used to have them, but they no longer exist. And I am terrified of ordering any Barbie signature dolls from Mattel Creations if I don't have to, because they will send you a wonky ass doll and absolutely not give a fuck and pretend like you're crazy if you call them out on it. I'm sure a lot of you that have also ordered from Mattel Creations in the past will agree that it's a pretty dog shit website and they absolutely do not care about their collectors or the quality of their products at all, it seems like most of the time. But Doll Junk and Timothy actually have a toy store in Australia that sells Barbie signature dolls in store so they can actually go and look at them to make sure that they're up up to par, like up to standard as far as like face screening goes and, and the rooting hairline goes and all that. They, they can actually go and look at the doll before they buy it. So the next two dolls, I specifically asked Timothy to uh, go to the store and like actually pick them out for me because these are two Barbie signature, signature dolls that I really, really wanted to add to my collection and he wrapped them very nicely. Thank you, thank you so, so much. Uh, he was so, so sweet to go and pick me out the two Barbie pink collection dolls that I wanted to add to my collection. So Timothy gifted me both Barbie pink collection number three and also number four, which I have down there. And these are Silkstone dolls that were designed by Robert Best. And he took his sweet time to select me the perfect one of each doll, and I think that Doll Junk also helped him out. And I am so, so thankful that he was willing to pick me out a good one, because some of the ones that he showed me there, like, they should not have ever passed quality control, honestly. Um, but the ones that he sent me are near perfect. And uh, he sent me Barbie uh, Pink Collection number three. This one uses the Nasa head sculpt, and I have admitted to him in the past that this isn't one of my favorite Barbie head sculpts. I don't know what it is. I think she's just 
Do you ever not like something because it's just too perfect? I mean, Nesa is a gorgeous sculpt, and a lot of people really love her. I mean, Mattel even uses her uh, for the main sculpt on Barbie's friend Teresa nowadays. Um, but I don't know. I mean, she just... She, she doesn't really do it for me most of the time, but this Nisa in particular, I, I really, really loved her. I just really loved how it was a blonde doll with brown eyes, and she kind of reminded me of uh, something that somebody told me before where they really loved Mattel's Hollywood Hair Teresa that they released in the 1990s because you don't often see Latino dolls with uh, blonde hair. They, they usually have uh, dark brown or black hair, but this to me is a Latina with blonde hair. Because Nesa, I guess, is Mattel's main Latino sculpt for Barbie because they kind of retired the 90s Teresa sculpt a long time ago. This isn't my Teresa though. Uh, my Teresa will always have a square jawline. But this Nesa will be the main one in my collection because I just can't get over her. Now these dolls are both Silkstone and I don't even remember if I've even looked at another uh, Silkstone doll on the channel before but what Silkstone is basically is a thick vinyl or plastic that's very heavy, a lot heavier than normal Barbie dolls are and it's meant to mimic uh, the feel of porcelain basically. So they, they feel a lot more expensive but I do hate the lack of articulation on them, of course. So she will be getting rebodied on a made to move body and I definitely plan on making her petite. So I'm either going to use one of my Yara Shahidi bodies, which does match her, or I will use the new petite Barbie Looks doll, which is a very, very close to Yara Shahidi, but like a smidge lighter. So she will get one of those bodies eventually. Um, with these dolls, you just have to heat their heads up for a lot longer than a normal Barbie doll, but they can be removed and rebodied. Um, she might not have the stereotypical Latino hair color, but I am going to abide by one Latino stereotype and keep her petite because uh, I don't know, I just really love the petite body and Teresa is kind of Barbie's token uh, petite friend. Like whenever Barbie did all of her rebranding, like. Renee became Barbie's tall friend, Daisy became her curvy friend, uh, Brooklyn is now her like more uh, toned athletic friend, and uh, Teresa is the shorter friend. This head sculpt is usually used on petite bodies, so I'm going to give her one. Wow, this last doll he sent me is so, so amazing. And I would have got her myself eventually, but I'm so happy that he was willing to go and pick me out a good one at one of his local stores. But he also gifted me Barbie Pink Collection number four, who uses the Barbie Looks Lena head sculpt. Both of the Lenas that I have in my collection so far are from Timothy, and I I definitely plan on adding every Barbie doll that's released with this head sculpt to my collection eventually. So I'm on a pretty good streak, I feel like. Uh, but this new version of Lena is so, so beautiful. You can tell Mattel is already starting to use the Barbie looks head sculpts, all the sculpts that are made for that line in some very creative ways because uh, in Barbie Pink Collection number four, they gave Lena this very beautiful dark chocolate complexion and this fierce side glance. Man, that's a gorgeous screening. I love her like raised eyebrows and like uh, how her hot pink eyeshadow corresponds with the lipstick. And it, it looked really good with the dress that she came in, but uh, Timothy kept both of the dresses because honestly, they're not really my style, but I'm, I'm so, so happy that I have this girl finally. And uh, I do plan on pre her as well. She is luckily a good match for the uh, rock climber Barbie body or lavender top, so. She will be getting a made to move body and her hair is very beautiful. Like look how much, look how nicely it moves. It's these uh, very uh, tight curls. It's like a, a dark brown and black saran blend and also has these two little twists at the top that kind of keep it held back out of her face. I mean, there really isn't anything that I can say that will do this doll justice in describing how beautiful she is. 
She's such a beautiful doll. I'm definitely gonna end up finding her a new hot pink outfit, something more casual to match her gorgeous makeup. But that's it for all of the dolls that Timothy sent me. So like I said, I'm going to be doing a second video to show everything that Doll Junk sent me. He also sent me this little uh, pack of Vegemite for Tiffany, but um, that's all the dolls that Timothy sent me. But he also sent me a bunch of snacks, which I'm not gonna be doing a uh, mukbang this time. I will eat these off camera. He also sent me this cute little Barbie notepad, which will be very um, useful for me to use at work. And he also sent me uh, this pack of Barbie clothes. I think most of these pieces um, came from the, there, there's a Barbie uh, clothing set that um, Angel Kent designed that he bought a duplicate of from me. And I think that's what all these are from. Let me see. Yeah, most of the things are from that clothing set. I'll, I'll try to like post a picture on here of the entire set that he sent. And uh, we both looked at it and we thought it was really awesome. It, ha it has a lot of awesome pieces in it, like this uh, amazing Totally Hair Barbie tribute swimsuit pair. It, it's got a pair of swim trunks for Ken and also a bathing suit for the uh, Barbie dolls. And uh, one of the other pieces in there, I think this is some, from something else. So this looks like a Fashion Fever piece. It's this beautiful um, like baby pink blouse with uh, lace on the uh, brim. He also sent the Barbie Extra Hot Wheels car, the pink version, which I haven't found in my local stores yet. I do have the gray version though already. And there's also a light up version, I believe. I wonder if Mattel is ever going to release a pink Barbie extra car or one that actually lights up. Um, they haven't yet, so I don't know. Maybe they have, maybe they have plans for that in the uh, future, but the pink version is also very cute. And honestly, I think the Barbie extra car is one of the coolest, most unique Barbie car designs that's ever been released. Gotta give Judy Choi props for that. Um, but the last thing that Timothy sent me himself was just like last time, he is also helping me add to my ever-growing Share Bear collection. He got me the ex Australia exclusive scented Share Bear plush animal with the vintage milkshake belly badge. And uh, Australia, they, they get all the good Care Bear stuff. We don't get this here. I, I think it's because uh, American in America, Care Bears is under a different license holder. Like, yeah, in, in Australia, they're by Head Start. We don't get we don't get the Head Start stuff here. I requested he get this for me as well because you know I, I love Share Bear. She's my favorite, especially with the original belly badge. And this this plush is so cute. I really love the uh, painting on the eyes in this particular collection. And I just think that they're a lot cuter than the ones that we get in America, to be honest. She's also kind of an odd size. She's smaller than the other one that he got me. I don't think I have another Share Bear in this particular size. So I love the variety. Thank you so much, Timothy, for all the amazing gifts that I received from you today. I can't wait for you to open up the package that I have planned for you. I have some surprises that you do not know about. Like I said earlier, stay tuned. Hopefully sometime next week, I will have a the episode where I look at everything that Doll Junk sent me. Honestly, he sent me a lot of stuff. It's kind of overwhelming, but I'm gonna power through it because he is such a talented artist. As always, if you haven't already, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy my content to support my channel. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.